Hello everyone. Today we're going to get started on this project of modifying the Harbor Freight flux core welder. I'm going to open it up. We're going to have a look around, see how dusty and what things look like inside and find out where we're going to put these components. So first off, you just need to open the top. And then it looks like I have eight screws to pull this side off. So let's get started on that. All right. It's a little bit dusty, but not nearly as bad as I had expected it to be. So I sucked a few cobwebs out of there with the shop vac. Here's the drive motor. Here is the ne the uh, ground clamp goes out here and hooks to the transformer. And then the other yellow wire just below it is the other transformer wire that comes out goes up to the top I don't know if you can see it up there or not but it comes up to the wire feed and goes out to the torch <clears throat> so these two need to connect to the two sides of the bridge rectifier which the AC side of the bridge rectifier because this is putting out AC power so what I need to do is I need to cut these two wires, this one and the one below it, maybe rearrange those a little bit so I can get to them. I'm going to cut them and then I'm going to put on some uh, ends that I can put a bolt through, which I'll show you here in just a second. So here's some terminals that I have. Those are about a quarter of an inch. These are just a slightly bigger. Now I understand this is eight gauge wire, <clears throat> excuse me, from what everybody's been saying. But I think I can fashion those terminals on there. These are uh, aluminum coming out of the coil, I think. And this is copper. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work to, to determine exactly how I'm gonna connect those. But here's the bridge rectifier, and I'm going to have a heat sink on the back side of it. I'm trying to determine where I'm going to put that. I may have to actually fashion a mount. Some guys are just mounting it to the inside of the, the side wall, the side plate, and that's fine. Some people are mounting it up here to the top plate. I've seen it put in all kinds of different configurations, but I'm going to... I'm going to take a little extra time and maybe use some scrap aluminum that I have and fashion a mount for this thing. People are replacing this stock fan too because it has low output. But heck, I can feel plenty of air coming out of these side vents when it's running. And it's a nice quiet fan. Instead of installing a high output computer fan, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to keep it in here. But I would like to mount this inside, if possible, so that when it's all put together, you can't even tell that I've done anything inside of it. Just for personal taste, it, it doesn't really matter. It'd be fine mounted on the outside. But I'm going to look around and see what I can come up with for a mount for this. See if I can't fashion something out of aluminum or something. I've got a little bit of scrap aluminum laying around here. Some 16th or 8th inch angle aluminum. And make a mount. And then I can determine where I'm going to cut these wires in order to be able to connect it to this. So one side is the DC output, positive and negative, And the other side is the AC input. So these two wires need to be cut off, put some extra leads on there to bring them over to the input side of this. And then it's going to 
it's going to transform that or rectify that AC power into DC output. And then these two DC sides will come over. One will go, the negative will go to the torch and the positive will go to this ground wire. And also I'm going to put that DINs connector on this ground wire. So I've got some configuring to do and some thinking to do exactly how I'm going to put this all together. But let me work on getting a mount put together so I can figure out where I'm going to put this, which is the bridge rectifier. And again, for those who maybe have not seen my first video, this is a 150 amp, 1600 volt bridge rectifier. I don't know, I think I paid 10 bucks for this thing off of eBay. Shipped. There's uh, varying prices on them, but I, 10 to 20 bucks. And I recommend that you get the 150 to 200 amp. I've seen a couple of people have problems with the 100 amp burning out. But again, that's why I'm doing the heat sink. And I want to mount it in here where the fan will circulate air over the cooling fins. All right, let me get to that and we'll come back after I finish up with some of that. So here's what I've come up with. I found a couple of little angle braces. These are zinc coated or something like that. I have my bridge rectifier and my heat sink. There's going to be two bolts go through here to hold those two together. And then on the back side, I'll bolt this brace to it. So there'll be two of them like this, all bolted together. And then the way that's going to fit in the machine is it's going to be bolted to the top right about like that. Just so that these terminals will clear the edge of the edge of the box. When I put the side on it won't hit them. So these will be bolted up in there. So I will have two bolts coming up through the top up through the top plate holding these two brackets inside there. That way my wires can come right up here and connect to the bridge rectifier going back down to connecting with these other wires and then the capacitors I think we'll, I'll be able to put them in here. I haven't tried them yet but I, that's what I'm hoping for. So let's get this bracket built and get this put together. So to mount this heat sink on this rectifier, I'm going to use what they call as uh, thermal paste. So it's just a small tube of it with a little applicator syringe. That's used for, uh, oh I don't know, computer work, mounting heat sinks on computer equipment, CPUs and that sort of thing. I've never used it before and I honestly don't know if it's a necessity or not but I'm gonna clean the the heat sink on the rectifier with some alcohol and I'm gonna clean the uh, heat sink itself I'll be honest with you I don't even know if this heat sink grease uh, what's it called this thermal grease thermal paste. I don't know if it has any adhesion properties to it or not, but just in case I'm going to clean that up. Then I'm going to apply, hopefully you can see that okay, I'm going to apply it to the uh, to the heat sink. 
cut this open. This paste has metal particles in it and it will help with the with the uh, transfer of heat. So I'm going to put three good beads. This is probably way too much, but whatever I have access that squeezes out, I'm going to I'll just wipe it off. So we shall see if this does anything or not. Just to help transfer some of the heat. The last thing I want is this rectifier to burn out. So I'm going to set it over the top of this heat sink and try to get it all centered up the best that I can. Line up the holes and then put my bolts through there. I got a couple picked out here. This is a Harbor Freight nut and bolt set that I'm using. I don't remember how much it was. I bought it years ago. I do not recommend buying this. The bolts look really nice, but they're so cheap. I, I think they're made out of aluminum or something. I don't know what they're made out of. The cheapest metal they could find. I think it's uh, terrible. Terrible set. All right, I just want to figure out which way I want this. I think I'll come in the top with my uh, AC lines. Now I'm going to have to put this on here and not tighten these down all the way because I want to be able to come down from the top with the other mounting bolts. And I want a couple washers on here. with a couple of these El Cheapo nuts on there. And then that's what the final mount's going to look like. And then these two holes, I don't have a lot of space. I may have to cut my bolts off if I can't find any short enough. Are going to mount to the top of the to the welder case through the top. Just two holes right there, two bolts, just like that. So I did get some squeeze out all the way around the edges. I'm just going to clean that up with a rag. So I think that the uh, I got plenty of thermal paste on there. That way it'll transfer the heat from the rectifier to the heat sink and then be blown away by the fan is the idea. Now I need to get this test fit. I'm going to test fit it on the top of the lid mark where the holes are, drill the holes out, and then bring it inside and mount it from inside. And then I'll show you that once I get it done. So here I've got the uh, bridge rectifier mounted where I said I was going to put it. And I just have two pan head screws in the top. So when the side is on, which it fits without even coming close to touching those screws should be in good shape and then I'll close the top and you'll never you'll never be able to tell so there's what it looks like there and I've got the heat sink and the mounts it's a bit tricky to put those two screws in there those bolts from the top and I'll have to do it again once I get the wires made and get them attached but it clears the fan and it'll help get a little airflow over that heat sink. It's not blowing directly on the heat sink, but I think it'll be better than than anywhere else. It should be fine just radiating the heat 
even though the heat sink isn't oriented the proper direction that I would prefer it be. Either way, I think it's going to be fine. And the only uh, visible outside appearance will be those two pan head screws from the top. So the next step is going to be getting these wires cut and measured and making some extensions. All right, after a little bit of further analysis, let me show you something. Looking at this grounding cable, I pulled this sleeve back on it, and it is actually copper wire, number eight gauge copper wire. It's about six feet long, the stock one. I'm gonna be replacing this anyway. So what I think I might do is I'm gonna use this wire inside the machine to wire up the uh, bridge rectifier. So I pulled the ground cable loose from here. You undo this set screw. I just slid it back. And this wire is, is actually coming out of the transformer. So instead of cutting it and making a splice, I think I'm just gonna bring it right out of the transformer up here and connect it to the bridge rectifier and then use the rest of this cable to make my other cables that are going to come back down. On the next video I'm going to get into uh, the wiring and the details on the wiring and how I put that all together. So Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for the next video on this series of the uh, conversion from DC AC to DC on the Harbor Freight Flux Core Welder. Thanks for following along. If you like the video give me a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Thank you. See you on the next video.